Hey Card Files, welcome to a new unboxing video of the latest release that is the new Clan Booster GCB07 called Divas Festival, the Bermuda Clan Booster. Before we're gonna pop one open, and it's not one box, not two box, but in total we have a total of four boxes. But before I'm going to open these boxes, let's, let's first look at what's inside these boxes uh, real quick. So this new set brings us a total of new 50 different cards with, uh, well at least it has 50 cards where from 49 are new and one reissue, the Great One Shizuku that's believed that was originally released in the very first Clan Booster of Bermuda in the G format. We have one set art, that's the new Megiddo reprint, uh, the Generation Red, the Turia. Uh, we got 8 triple rares, 10 double rares, 13 rares and 17 commons. And five, one common, uh, we got 5 cards that are duos and those are, can, either, can either be the black version or the white version. There's I believe one common, two rares. One double rare and one triple rare that also has DSP and I believe the SP version can also be in black and white but I'm not sure for that because I haven't seen those uh, both versions of the SP. Speaking of the SPs, this set has the new special SPs that that's the community likes to call the crown SPs and we got 12 of those. And what also is unique to this set is that the generation rare has an SP version and I believe this is the very first time that we have seen it because the other, um, the, the parallel version of generation rares usually are called secret generation rares, but since ZRs are introduced, we haven't seen any secret generation rare because the ZR has the same foil treatment as usually the ZR, the SGRs before them had it. But uh, let's have not, uh, let's stop talking about the set because I think everybody wants to see what I've uh, what I've got. So got four boxes and hopefully I get to pull something very good so let's start with the first one all right so what I'm uh, actually hoping to get is of course the uh, new Megiddo first uh, card but to be and besides that I'm not really interested in most Bermuda cards uh, except that uh, of course I am a collector and I want to collect every card uh, every version of every card so if I get the chance to at least pull one SP, it will be amazing, but we have to see if that uh, luck is aside. So let's open with the first one. All right, this is interesting because we got the Fabia Rare. I believe this happened before in, a, in the sneak, but let's see if you can see it good. I got the Coral Grey Tree, that's pretty nice. But if you can see, it's a little bit, the it cut, it's been cut too low. So the Triple R sign is right at the bottom of the card instead of uh, with a little bit more room space like you can see here the difference so that's really odd I don't know if more cards have it in this set but luckily you can still see the triple R and the code but still need on that really love the art of the coral grade 3 and of course the SP version of the coral is really nice Ooh, this is nice we got the, the new G the double rare of the G Guardian, uh, the, 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 the grade 2 that also counts as a G Guardian uh, this guy, heal trigger if you wanted to uh, use it as... <clears throat> so let's rephrase it. This also counts as a heal trigger if you want to discard it for a G Guardian. So this really helps with uh, the sustainability of what Bermuda can do in the, with this new boost set. Because boost shot really been, has been nuts with all the support for Bermuda in this set. Because we've seen crit triggers with zero power that has an insane skill. We have seeing perfect guards that can be six copies of in one deck the grade two that also counts as the heal trigger for this card for g guardian the g guardian that can flip itself back always that also have insane shield value it's they have really been going all out uh with this set all right here this, this, we got the the dual uh, one the red that's also the white version of it this is the white version of the grade one 
what I've talked about. Alright, so as far we got one double rare, one triple rare for this set. And we got the double rare, the duo PG, the black version. Already got that, uh, got these two already from the sneak. Uh, so I got two, two copies of them both. Sadly, in the sneak, you cannot really do much with them because uh, the condition to use them, you need to have a certain Vanguard with the name, or in case of the, I believe, the duo, you also need to discard the duo. But seeing as it's, you're playing with the sneak deck, I couldn't use them. <laughs> Um, special Shibuku, another draw trigger. Oh, we got the black version of Lord and our first stride card, the Choo Choo Lively Icon Laya. This card was the MVP of uh, somebody uh, during the sneak. I don't know how, but he managed to pull it off with the sneak deck because he was only drafting all, uh, only Choo Choo cards, so using his skill was pretty easy for him and it won him some games. But still, on all, it's a pretty nice card. And we got a double rare, the Magical Center Nina. Really like the art of this card. Also, the skill is pretty nice. Can you can do some uh, really interesting combos with uh, with uh, especially with this card. And I'm gonna talk about this card in, in a future video. I think it's going to be the next video after this one, but uh, don't hold me on that because my upload schedule is, as some of you have made out, is not really consistent. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> I try to work on it to make more consistent videos on a consistent basis. So this is the last uh, pack of the first box and I believe it's gonna be a uh, double rare because I only have one double rare. All right, uh, triple rare, I mean triple rare. Yeah. Lucia, Roan, Merit, Roberta, Seleni. Ooh, we got the triple rare mirror stride. The duo amazing mirror. All right, so the, the, duo, the duo is not a black and white version. All right, so it's only the double rare, the, the rares and the common that has a black and white version. So there's no, Different SP version of this duo. It's pretty, pretty cute with the with the puppet. At least you sh should have two puppets, right? Huh? I thought the old old cards, old version of Mir has two puppets. All right, so that's the first box. Let's open the second. And I think uh, I believe. I think I'm going to speed up parts where nothing really interesting is happening and when, uh, cause this will take forever otherwise. But uh, before I start speeding things up, uh, don't forget at the end of the video, cause I've been here, uh, as I said in an earlier video is that I'm uh, going to do a giveaway uh, for Q4, a box of Q4 and I'm going to do that at the end of this video. It's going to be an announcement of how you're going to, how, how you can participate in the giveaway. Oh, ho, ho, yes, we got a Megido, <laughs> or as some of may say, Megida or Megido Chan, but I don't care. <laughs> oh, I really love this art, man. Oh, maybe I should talk more about giving giving boxes away and I get pull good stuff. <laughs> nice. Start seeing something gold that's shiny, I was like, oh. All right, you can go here. So you, if I'm correct, you can stay in the cap of you. Nice. Uh, so uh, where, where, where was I? Uh, oh yeah, the, the giveaway. Uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to announce how you can participate and what you need to do for it. So. Uh, Keep, uh, keep watching on, or if you don't are interested in, uh, in the rest of unboxing or just want to see at the end, then skip to the end and I'm gonna overview what I've pulled and also talk about uh, the giveaway, how you can participate and how it works. So yes, so with, with that said, let's speed things up a bit. Oh damn, I got another coral. So I've now I pulled two corals. I I was run wondering. Uh, I was thinking about making 
if I'm gonna be build Lars, then Coral was my second ga ga choice because I also have the uh, old wedding special version of Coral of the uh, booster Glam Booster 3, and I also have an extra Coral Grade 3. So I believe I have a playset of that stride. Uh, of the stride, I, I mean the stride, the uh, wedding special, the stride. Also have the stride SP pool. Uh, so I think then I'm going to build. Also, I want to build the coral deck. I've, I've been hearing good stuff about it. Um, and we got the generation guard, the, the real good generation guard that w really works well with the grade two. So, this so far, this has been a really good box. Up to box number three. I must say, I really, I really dig this new art on the on the box itself. I really, maybe I should show it you <laughs> better. I really like this new art of the box. Also, uh, the the playmat uh, design is really beautiful. And for those who have seen the playmat, what really is odd is the the shape of it. It's uh, it's it's smaller than the big playmats you can buy, but it's bigger than the usual playmats you get from Bush Road uh, from Sneaks. Uh, it's it's like the same uh, height, but it's the width is a, lo a lot longer. It's like a, a long jaded uh, playmat. It's really weird. Don't know why uh, they did that. Um, Maybe it's in preparation for Force, uh, no, uh, Excel, but uh, even though it's still a little bit a small size, you cannot really place an, an extra rear guard circle to, to the left or to the right. So, ooh, I saw something interesting that uh, intrigues my collector's eye. Yes, we got the reprint. Ooh, I really dig this art. I really dig the, the foil design of this. With all the on the on the cards itself, you can see the stars in the background. All, most of those stars that are twinkling with the foil on the card. So that's really nice, a nice detail that they did in this card design. That's really awesome. All right, put that one here. Is that again? Maybe I should. That looks, wait, let's see. Oh no, 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 that's not a coral. We got reindeer. All right. Almost thought it was a coral again, because if you, the, the best back sides look pretty, pretty identical if you only see the side of the card. This is the same blue shape to it. So I was like, no, not again, not, a, not another coral. <laughs> but it's a reindeer, so that's pretty, pretty neat. All right. Oh, yes. This is nice. I really uh, like this card. The Sp Spirit Star Trust. The uh, Riviera uh, support gritty. This SP is the, the SP version of this card is my number one with the art. I really dig that art for, uh, of the card. And then number two is Coral, of course. But man, I hope if I get an SP, then I hope it's this one. Also, I really, I really like the skill of this uh, this grid too. It's really interesting because this is the one that can uh, help you accelerate in your riding 
in one, in one go, or even go stride, uh, superior stride. It's really insane. Uh, apparently my camera only can record a maximum of 30 minutes. Good to know. At least I uh, followed that before I opened the last packs. Uh, but what I want to talk about is the upcoming Bermuda video, because uh, if everything is correct, I have uploaded a video yesterday about the new, uh, about the Bark One Direction Part 2, and I talked a little bit about uh, Harmony and overloading with Harmony, because uh, uh, Somebody, uh, uh, I cannot, I, can, I forgot uh, his first name or at least his last name. Uh, something, something Kenji, sorry, <laughs> uh, really bad with names. Uh, asked some really interesting questions around Harmony and Bermuda in general. And oh, <laughs> woo! I didn't just get any SP, I got the Turia SP. All right, that's really awesome. <laughs> woo! I must say, this is also a really awesome art. Whoa! This... This is really great. Alright, uh, I'm just... I'm just speechless. <laughs> Man, this... Um... Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, yeah um... Uh, Jesus, Jesus, man. So I got an SP, a reprint, and an ZR in, in four boxes. That's like, this is this is just, this is gold for me as a collector, because I want every card. So this is just perfect. Couldn't be wishing for more. And it's also in, in the first pack of the box, like the Megidon. Uh, all right, all right, I'm, all right. Um, all right, so what was I talking about? Uh, uh, oh yeah, he, he, he asked some interesting questions around uh, con uh, about harmony and interactions around it and I've talked a little bit about in that video um, with... Uh, mm, Jesus, I got confused about uh, with the SP, man. Uh, uh. Uh, Alright, uh, oh nice, didn't have this double rare choo choo. It's great too. That's really awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really I'm really out of it because of the speed, Jesus. Um, Alright, so he talked about, he asked about some interesting questions about uh, harmony and about Bermuda interaction in general. And it was really interesting and I digged a little bit, uh, start digging information about how harmony works and start start learning about that. It's a really, a really interesting keyword with a lot of different interaction and really in-depth uh, processing that it's, in my opinion, one of the most interesting and difficult keywords to understand. And I want to try, I was trying to uh, at least show some interaction in, in yesterday's video, if that video is online. And, and I talked about uh, how overloading harmony works by calling units on top of other units with a harmony ability. And, but that just was the, was the beginning of it, because he also asked, damn, I also got the NG triple rare, that's really, really neat, pink, pink, all this pink, Sanji would be jealous of me, um, but uh, that was just really the uh, only uh, the tip of the iceberg of what things, uh, about the things that you could do, and I want uh, want to at least address that question because it uh, was in the same style of the Barco interaction with uh, calling units in the same column and skills interacting with that column in placement. And uh, nice, the double rare Chuchu G Guardian. It's insane guard value for that one. And uh, I keep, keep forgetting what I'm talking about. So, but what the point is what I'm trying to come across at point to, uh, to, to uh, talking is really difficult now that I'm 
Ma... Damn it! <laughs> uh, since pulling the SP, I've been babbling around because I just keep thinking about it. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, that video was just scraping the bottom... Uh, the, the, it was the, the point of the eye, the tip of the iceberg. And there was is a lot more to discuss about Harmony and Bermuda in general. And as Kenji uh, asked in, the, in his questions, there was uh, a question concerning... Uh, I'm glad that I pulled the card. About discard by writing and interacting with the Harmony and stuff. And all those questions that uh, inspired me to do a more in-depth video about how Harmony and how some Bermuda cards work, especially with the new support in this set. And I try to upload that video depending on how much it, time it takes to uh, make, to uh, work everything out and editing everything and uh, recording everything. And I hope to have it online maybe one Monday, but depending that Team Leak is also uh, tomorrow that uh, at least I hope to try to have it within a week of the release of uh, this video. Still, that with uh, Bermuda, the release of Bermuda is still fresh in everybody's mind and everybody's still figuring out how they want to do it, looking at the Japanese deck builds and whatnot. But uh, Bermuda has a lot of, lot of interesting interactions and a lot of interesting skills that look really easy at the beginning uh, when you look at the service level, but when you go a little bit deeper, then it's Pretty tough, pretty more, pretty hard to uh, understand all the different little interactions with all the different mechanics of Vanguard, and that's really what makes Harmony and Bermuda in general really interesting to to me at least. All right, we also got, we finally got the white version of the Pervagard. We uh, have four black versions, and now finally one white version. So at least I'm happy for that that I have both versions now. All right, so look, look, look so look out for that video for the the harmony interactions and whatnot if if for those that are really interesting about uh, the more analytic kinds of videos about interactions within vanguard and how card skills work and whatnot because i have a lot of uh you guys been really bombarding me with a lot of different uh, interaction uh, questions with interesting skills interactions that work with certain mechanics in vanguard that uh, really sparked my in in interest to make all those videos but it, it, of course, writing the scripts, working everything out, and whatnot takes takes a little bit of time. So I can do only one video at a time. And I got the triple wear Alk again. That's that's a little bit sad for me. Well, maybe I can trade it with somebody because I already have one. I think somebody is interested in it. Who knows? Right, almost done. I don't think I don't have any triple rares left. Maybe a double rare. Let's find out if at least. Oh, I didn't uh, forgot uh, that it was also in this. Did we have this in this set? Jesus! Finally, I also got the heel. Totally forgot that it was that it was in the set. And it's a choo choo. That's pretty nice. All right, and last pack. This is going to be only rare, so I believe. Got the crit, and we got set. Yes, that's about it. All right. So let's uh, see what I just what I've pulled. All right. So as you can see, we have been pulling pretty pretty good. We got. Uh, the set R, the new reprint. We got uh, one of the SPs, uh, I believe one of the best for, uh, in the game. Sadly, it's not the one that I like the most, but I know that I absolutely cannot complain with this card. Because, man, the, even though that art is really, really insane. And we got six different triple, uh, triple R's. We got two doubles, the Alk and the Coral. So I only missed two other. I believe that's the Shizuku as a triple R. And I don't know, I can't remember the other one. And let's see, we got 10 double rares. We have three of this one, three of this one, two of the G-Guard, three of the PG, two different of the dual PG. So that's one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine of the 11. So I only missed two double rares. So that's... Need to find out what the other two are. Hmm. But still, that's needed this one. 
like this one, did it also need this one, so that's been... The pulls are really, really good, and I can definitely cannot complain. I only miss a few more cards and I have everything that I need. Um, Alright, now let's talk about the thing you've been waiting for, and that's of course the giveaway. To uh, participate in the giveaway, the only thing you have to do is watch this video, leave a like, and comment down below with hashtag VE, uh, VE for Vanguard Insider, so VE giveaway, and add something, something amusing, maybe something maybe about this video or something about the channel or something you want to see or something you want to know, it doesn't matter. If at least the VE, hashtag VE giveaway is in the comments, you're in, in, the, in the pool of potential winners. And I will announce who has won the giveaway in the next unboxing video of, of Q4, because I'm uh, giving away a Q4 box, uh, box. And I believe that's around the 20th of June, 22nd of June. I'm not really from. I don't know on the top of my head what the release date it, it is. But when Q4 is released, the next unboxing video is live. I will announce the one that won it. And I will also announce the next giveaway of the extra booster where Spike Brothers and Tachikaze and uh, forgot the third clan that was in that set. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and of course for that to participate in the second one you need to be a, of course a Patreon supporter. It doesn't, you don't have to be a, a top tier supporter. If you donate at least one dollar, you can participate in the next one. And to participate in the next one, you don't have to do anything, just be a Patreon supporter and you're automatically entered to win the next box of every set. And that will be, continue. we're going to continue that for every other set starting Q4. So only thing you have to do, hashtag Faye giveaway, down in the comments, like, subscribe, and of course, hitting the bell button. I'm Mr. Time Leap, and I'll see you guys in the next video.